Hello people, welcome back. The question is from gate 2018 exam and is for two marks. It is from the topic of fragmentation. Let us read the statement once, then I am going to explain it. So question reads, consider an IP packet with a length of 4500 bytes that includes a 20 byte IPv4 header and 40 byte TCP header. The packet is forwarded to an IPv4 router that supports a maximum transmission unit MTU of 600 bytes. Assume that the length of IP header in all the outgoing fragments of this packet is 20 bytes. Assume that the fragmentation offset value stored in the first fragment is 0. The fragmentation offset value stored in the third fragment is. Okay, so they are saying some router receives a IP packet that is of 4500 bytes. Out of these 4500 bytes, first 20 bytes is the IPv4 header, then you have a 40 byte TCP header. MTU is given as 600 bytes. Now what is the meaning of MTU? MTU means how much maximum data can be present inside one data link layer frame. A data link layer frame is going to contain a header and a trailer. Except for header and a trailer, how much is the maximum data that can be contained in this frame? That is called the MTU, which is given as 600 bytes in this case. So a IP packet has to be placed in this part. That means maximum size of IP packet that is allowed will be 600 only. Out of these 600 bytes also, there will be a 20 byte header. That means actually you can contain or you can keep only 580 bytes of data in a IP packet. Okay. How much data is there in this packet that the router has received? See 4500 bytes is the total size out of which IP header is of 20 bytes. For IP, this entire thing, it will be data. So how much is the data? This minus header size that will be 4, 4, 8, 0 bytes. Okay. Now this data which is present inside an incoming packet is exceeding the limit. So router will fragment this packet. The first step for fragmentation will be remove the IP header. So IP header that means this part, these 20 bytes, they will be removed from this data or from this packet and they will be stored somewhere in the temporary buffer, okay. Now see, IP layer or the network layer does not know that from where a TCP header starts and where it ends. IP layer does not simply care. So this entire thing will be treated as data only, okay. Data or payload, we need not worry about TCP headers. Now this data exceeds that limit, hence we need to fragment it into smaller sized parts. So a lot of parts will be created. Maximum allowed size is 580, but there is one more limitation. The size of all the fragments except for the last fragment should be divisible by 8. Is this number 580 divisible by 8? No, if you divide it by 8, you are going to get some remainder. Hence, we need to reduce the size of fragment. See. To make this number divisible by 8, you cannot add more bits because then you will exceed this limit. Hence, you need to reduce the size. So the number that is smaller than this and is divisible by 8 will be 576. Yeah, 576 will be divisible by 8. So you can take the size of one fragment as 576. Okay. Now what will be the total number of fragments that are going to be created? It will be the total data available divided by data that is contained in one fragment. So total data is 4480 bytes. Okay, size of one fragment is 576 bytes. So just divide them and you will get how many fragments will be formed. So that is 4480 divided by 576. You are going to get 7.7777. That means 8 fragments will be formed. First 7 fragments, they will contain 576 bytes each. So complete 576 bytes will be present in each of first 7 segments. 
बट द लास्ट फ्रेगमेंट विल कंटेन समथिंग लेस देन दिस नंबर ओके लास्ट फ्रेगमेंट इज गोइंग टू कंटेन ओनली जीरो पॉइंट सेवन सेवन पार्ट ऑफ फाइव सेवेंटी सिक्स बाइट ओके सो सपोज दीज आर द सेवन फ्रेगमेंट रादर एट फ्रेगमेंट दैट आर गोइंग टू बी फॉर्म Suppose these are the eight fragments that will be formed. First seven fragments they contain complete five seventy six bytes of data. So this is the data that will be contained in first seven fragments. If you subtract this number from the total amount of data, you will get four forty eight bytes. That means four forty eight bytes of data will be placed in last fragment or the eighth fragment. Okay. and on each of these fragments router is going to add a 20 byte ipv4 header that will be prepared by looking at the original header that is the reason we haven't deleted this one okay now see the size of each fragment is divisible by 8 so condition is satisfied and we need not care about the size of last fragment they were asking what is the fragment offset of third fragment so for this one you need to find the value of fragment offset field see for this one fragment offset is given as 0 okay so i am writing fragment offset here and value that is going to be stored in fragment offset field that i am writing here okay so for first fragment fragment offset is 0 as well as fragment offset fields value is 0 okay let us discuss what is the meaning of fragment offset and how do we calculate the value that is going to be stored in fragment offset field fragment offset tells you how much data is contained in the fragments that were formed earlier so for this one you have no fragments that were formed earlier this is the first fragment only okay so for it there is no data that is contained in the fragments that were formed earlier hence fragment offset is zero and the value that is going to be stored in the field that will be this divided by 8 okay so 0 divided by 8 will give you 0 only for this fragment how much data is stored in the fragments that were formed earlier it is 576 bytes only one fragment was formed earlier and 576 bytes of data is contained in that fragment so for this one fragment offset is 576 okay for this fragment what is fragment offset value it will be data contained in both of these fragments that is 576 into 2 for this one fragment offset value will be data contained in all of these fragments that will be 576 into 3 okay now let us try to calculate what will be saved this value will not be saved we save the fragment offset value divided by 8 so 576 divided by 8 will be saved here here what will be saved 576 into 2 divided by 8 that means 576 by 4 okay so you can just cancel it you will get 1 by 4 so the answer is going to be 144 maybe Yeah, five seventy six divided by four is one forty four. So for third fragment, you are going to save one forty four in fragment offset field. Okay, let me write it. This is the answer to the question. Now see, earlier I told you that size of a fragment has to be divisible by eight. The reason for that is, if this is not divisible by eight, then fragment offset is such a number. that cannot be divided by 8 okay so you cannot exactly save the value in this field that's why we say except for the last fragment size of all of these fragments must be divisible by 8 see for this last fragment you need not save anything okay you don't have any fragment here so this will not contribute into calculation of any fragment offset okay that's why last fragment can have any size okay and moreover you cannot have all of the sizes divisible by it 
बिकॉज लास्ट फ्रेगमेंट विल कंटेन डेटा लेस देन दिस वैल्यू ओके सो यू कीप ऑन क्रिएटिंग फ्रेगमेंट एंड फॉर लास्ट वन वेरी लेस डेटा इज रिमेनिंग ओके 